hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is just to show you how i styled my hair following my wash day video which is the last video that i posted i mostly style in twists but this time i just decided to style it into a high bun for the week so before i start filming this hairstyle i just wanted to show you my hair before i moisturize it it's very soft I've washed it last night, not moisturised or anything and it just feels amazing. I'm going to moisturise off camera and then come back. So I've gone and moisturised my hair. I used um, my usual Cantu and then my um, Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Style Milk. And then it's sealed with my hair growth oil. I also use my fenugreek spray. That's that. I'm going to put my routine up here for you to see. And let's get right into it. So I'm just going to undo these twists. Okay, so here we are, all done. So what I'm going to do is I am going to divide my hair into two halves. So this top half and then the back, and that is how I am going to hold my ponytail. Okay, so I'm just holding this at the back. And then we're going to sort out this top bit. So I'm going to spray my the roots of my hair. Just to moisturise it because I know I'm going to brush it later. I then massage it in to make sure that all the water is gone into my hair and then I follow up with some Cantu leave-in then following up with some castor oil I then brush my roots and then smooth it down with my hands So I like using this brush because it's really soft and the bristles bend as I brush so it doesn't really drag or snag at my hair. Also holding up your hair is such a workout. <laughs> so once that's done I'm going to just twist these just to make sure that they do not shrink up. I usually like twisting my hair for updos because it helps me keep my ends intact. It avoids tangling and single strand knots. Okay, so I'm then going to spray the back bit as well and then add it to this top bit. So I'm just applying some moisturizer to the back, just basically what I did to the hair up front and then I'm going in to brush it down just to smooth it down as well so even though it sounds pretty harsh it's not so remember we're adding the back one to the front bun I usually do my bun in two um, separate ponytails because it's just a lot easier to flatten my hair down that's that done. I am going to undo these twists and just brush them out a bit to just give them some length. Spray with some water. Add a bit of castor oil. then loose 
loosely twist. Okay, I'm gonna do the same to this one. So do that for all of them. So I've gone and twisted all of them. So I'm just going to pin them down. I have no idea how I'm doing this. So bear with me. I'm pinning those two around the back. And then I think this is going to come here. In regards to pinning my hair, I don't really have like a particular style that I go for. I think with styles like this, you sort of just have to play around with your hair until you arrive at a look that you like and then just go with that. Also one thing is to try and not use those head pins to snag at your roots because they are actually huge culprits when it comes to thinning hair at the crown so make sure you're very careful and if it feels too tight if it poking you just loosen it or take it out or just change it or change the position so before I apply gel, I'm just spraying my hair with my bay leaf and fenugreek spray. And then I'm just going in with my Cantu Stay Glue Gel. I like this gel because it's got a soft hold and it does not flake. So I'm just brushing it in now just to make sure that all the gel actually goes into my hair. I'm following up with some castor oil just to further smooth it down and also to stop it from flaking. This gel doesn't flake, it says it has a really strong hold, I don't think it does <laughs> because it just doesn't have that hold that it claims it does which I don't mind, I prefer a soft gel so I'm gonna tie it down so make sure your scarf is not too tight because you don't want a headache I follow up with a second head scarf just to smooth the back of my hair so I'm gonna let it dry and then come back and show you the results Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and I've taken my scarf off and I'm just about to do my edges. I applied this Creme of Nature Argan Oil Edge Control. It's supposed to have a strong hold but it's just okay. So I'm just going to add a little bit. Since this is a, a sleek look, <laughs> I know someone's gonna comment saying your edges don't need doing, your hair's fine. I know that as well but sometimes I do my edges and sometimes I don't. It's not a big deal, um, probably 99.9% .9 of the time my edges are not done and a lot of the time I just do it for the videos and the pictures really but most of the time I do not use edge control. That's why I still have some edges to be honest <laughs> because I'm not always slicking them down. Okay, so this is us, we're done, and this is what it looks like. So I also decided to accessorize, but I did that off camera, and this is the final look. Just a simple wash day hairstyle if I'm not feeling to have twist in, and I kept this for five days. 
so if you've sat through this thank you for watching if you've not subscribed yet please consider subscribing if you've been here more than once also don't forget to hit the notification button so that you'll get a notification every time i post thank you for watching again and i shall see you in my next video bye